Good morning. It's 5 a.m. and I'm absolutely not awake. So Labor Day weekend, heading to Los Angeles and overlap with Pasadena a little bit. Go back to my previous school, show my friend around. And fun fact, I still do not have a place to stay tonight due to some unexpected miscommunication with my friend. And here he is, our lovely friend, Louis. Ta da Peace. Morning. Yeah, so meaning in the next hour or 45 minutes, I have to find a place, book it, confirm, and ready to go. Airbnb is so. ready for you. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. good. Watch sunset from the balcony on the second floor. Okay. Ready? Reserve. Confirm and pay. Looks right. Boop. Boom. It's official. You don't really have to book ahead of time. So come to the airport. Make it even more exciting before the trip begins. Yeah. And anything else? That's, that's how it goes. <laughs> I mean, last minute research is the way to go. You know, just, just do research right now. Yeah, so Luya has been doing research on the brunch and the lunch and all the future dinners. So <laughs> hopefully we can get some yes. super delicious food in a way. Absolutely. Yeah. After brunch, here we are at the place that we booked at the very last minute. So, room tour. In front of me is the kitchen. Toaster, coffee maker, stove, microwave, fridge, living room, even better. Super nice L-shaped couch. TV, karaoke system, and the whole cart for all the alcohol that you want. Simple, clean, everything that you need. I'm pretty happy with this. Smart room, giant TV with somebody hiding over here. Ooh. <laughs> so if you look at the bed to TV ratio, if you remember from the post, it has the view that you will die for. I don't know if we can check in at his hotel yet, so we might decide to go to the Broad, the Broad Museum. Spend a couple hours there and then coming back. Yeah. Museum. So this area is all the pop culture series, right? So you see all these artworks, a lot about back then the pop culture, consumerism, self-perception. So as you can see, your body is the battleground. If you keep moving forward, there's also another very interesting piece that takes an ordinary object and changes size so that it's literally under the table that you can bring up all the memories that you have as a child going under the table in the house and that's what is trying to convey the similar effects right so I'm now technically under the table so very interesting piece to peek at how they store different artwork. This is a 
the Royal Museum, right? So the architecture of it comes into two parts. The veil and the vault. The veil is the exterior. The porous structure that filters and transmit light, daylight into the interior. And the inside is called the vault, which is basically a giant concrete structure that hosts all the gallery work. Where the people are waiting right now, that's also where we were. And it was in between the vault and the veil, and the interesting intersection. And of course, the museum is also free, so it's worth to come. A lot of interesting artwork to see, and as well as the architecture itself. So, recommend. huge <laughs> yep so this is Louis four and a half star hotel LA in the continental okay, on yeah. the 51st floor that you can Whoa. get an absolute amazing view look at that how far you can see this is actually the view that you will die for not my Airbnb but I'm still happy with what I have so <laughs> don't be oh, so man. greedy oh, Welcome to LACMA, Los Angeles County Museum of Art. And now we're at this super long and narrow half tunnel shape covered by a piece of giant rock. Louis has the concern of where this rock will move or roll or fall, which I don't believe so because it's permanent. And just ramps up back to the surface. an installation called Urban Lights. It's right in front of Lagman and has become the landmark of Los Angeles. There are 202. These street lamps are arranged in a grid shape and they are all different because they came from different cities in Southern California mostly, like Hollywood, downtown Los Angeles, Glendale, Anaheim. The whole thing is very geometric, very elaborate and it's, very, it's interesting to just navigate yourself between aisles, between street lamps and look at the different details and ornament of a decoration on the lamp post. So it's a very interesting piece, I like it. Here we are at the uh, Italian restaurant, Tironi downtown. Let's see how that goes. So we had a very nice Italian lunch uh -huh. or dinner. Let's dinner. say, <laughs> yeah. Very nice traditional food. Um, pretty modern as well. Nice place. Nice ambient. Mm -hmm. So yeah, what You're could possibly go wrong? Italian restaurant, Torini. What do you think? Yes. Really? Just finished our dinner. Very nice. More traditional Italian place. Yeah, very traditional. Lots of, let's say, interesting LA vibes. So mm -hmm. good food. Very modern at the same time. Mm -hmm. Really enjoyed it. Yeah. Five out of five. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My plate, I think the pasta is chewy, uh, but the meat is kind of falling apart. So I recommend actually the seafood one. We'll get that next time. And yeah, so that's it for today. Don't forget to comment down below, like, subscribe, share. See you later. Cheers.